Right, Honda Civic Mark 8, uh, 2007 this one. This is the one with a kind of plastic front bit, if you want to call it that. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to change the clutch fluid. And as you can see in the top of this clutch reservoir, dot three, dot four. I've got dot four. Uh, this is the brake fluid. Sometimes the clutch and brake fluid are on the same reservoir, but not in this case, look. One is dark in colour, and you can even see through that, that, that the other one is light. Look at the state of that. So I don't know whether it becomes toxic after a while. Uh, I reckon it might do, that's the thing. So, I'm going to change that. So I'm going to undo this cap to start with. I've got dot four ready, and see down there. Where they've got the centre of my lens, there's a nipple down there. That's the slave cylinder. Now you need an 8mm, uh, what do you call them? 8mm, these sort of spanners, these ones here. I've got 8mm ready, I've got a bucket. I've got a, what do you call it, a funnel. I've got one of these, one way only kind of devices it only goes one way trap one way trap so I'll show you when I see. right spanner on it I haven't cracked the nut yet I've got a, an extension bar to fit over that spanner in a second so that's not a tight fit the bucket is hopefully gonna catch catch this stuff don't let this stuff get in your paintwork whatever you do so I'm going to elevate the bucket to make sure it catches it. Right, so you need an assistant for this. They step on the pedal. You call them to step on the pedal. You need to have one hand on that, one hand on this. Undo it. They step on the pedal. As they're stepping on the pedal, you hold it down. I mean, you tighten it again. And then uh, hopefully the catch will catch it. So it doesn't, there's no return bubbles. And just keep doing that. Keep doing that. When the reservoir drains a bit, that's when you uh, refill it. As simple as that. Undo it. So undo it. So you can see how it's falling off. When the pressure is on, that's going to come flying off. See so one hand on that. So when they undo it, when you undo it, you tell them to step on it slowly as it as it's depressing. Tighten it again because you don't want to wait until they come to a pause in case an air bubble goes in it. All right. So what I'm going to say to my helpers, I'm going to say to them. When they're pressing down, I want them to just keep saying down, 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 down. That's probably the best way of doing it. And as soon as they come to a stop, they stop pressing it down because it hit the bottom. That's when you know you should have really tightened it, if you know what I mean. And they obviously, once they hit to the bottom, you've really tightened it. They release their foot pedal and uh, so it draws from the reservoir. So, so on and so on. Right. So I'm going to do this. I don't know how long it's going to take, but that's how you do it. And uh, not sure. Let's see, let's, let's, let's just show the end result. I won't be able to do this holding onto this camera. Right, so I'll go 